Celebrity chef Lydia Bastianich owns six restaurants, hosts a TV show, and is a best-selling author. But she's also part of today's Catholic woman. She cooked for Pope Benedict and Pope Francis. In her new book, she describes her early life in communist Yugoslavia and her journey to the U.S., courtesy of Catholic Relief Services. I had the pleasure of talking with Lydia earlier today about food, fun, and faith. Welcome to the program. Author of My American Dream, A Life of Love, Family, and Food. This is just one of how many books that you have written? Well, it's the 12th, actually. But this is different. You know, usually mine are recipe books. And this is kind of my story. And what made you write this? Do you know, I, I began to realize that in the cooking show that I do on PBS, people wanted to know the setting of that recipe, wanted to know more about the story, wanted to know, you know, where I learned it, wanted to know how our family enjoyed it, and I am delighted I did. Today, children are often disconnected from families and from food. They're connected to devices and technology. How can cooking connect families and connect generations? Well, we're running forward so fast. Let's go a little backwards. Let's go back to the table. Let's go back to the unity of the family. Let's go back to those delicious smells that happens in the kitchen. Even if you're a young child and you're doing your homework, and I remember in your room and then the, the kind of the smells waft into your room, all of that. And it's a question of bringing that back. It's a question of bringing those smells back into the house. It's a question of setting that table. And it doesn't have to be uh, an elaborate table or an elaborate meal, a good, honest meal that is nutritionally sound. It's not just opening packages or whatever. And it doesn't take... <laughs> I'm, I'm starting to feel very bad. <laughs> <laughs> And by, and um, by, I uh, open a lot of packages. It's okay, but, but you know, there's, there's, you know, the, you, you can redeem yourself. Okay, okay, <laughs> you are going to have to give me a lesson in how to do that. It's hard for families to get together for a home-cooked meal. What are three or four of the ingredients that I need to put into my refrigerator to make those sort of basic, honest foods that you're talking well, about? Well, you know, like a base, let's say a condiment. Olive oil is always good. Onions, garlic, whatever, those you always have. And then, you know, seasonal vegetables, leafy vegetables, you clean them, you put them in a pan with some garlic and oil. What are the starches that you could bring? Pasta is one, then the sauce. You can do vegetables, tomatoes, and then the proteins. You know, choose a protein that's quick. You know, if you're gonna choose a piece of meat and you wanna braise it and roast it, leave that for the weekend. But you know, like a chicken breast, a, a nice thin uh, slice of, of veal or fish, uh, a nice piece of bass or shrimps, that doesn't take long at all. And it's, and it's okay if it's halfway prepped. If you buy a nice uh, rotisserie chicken, you bring it home, but then you have vegetables around it that you make and whatever, and that's okay too. And frozen vegetables are okay too. You know, I mean, I am, you know, I'm not predicating here that, you know, you have to put that apron on and be there two, three hours. You can facilitate. Just be conscious and get that kind of a smell and cooking feel in the kitchen and put the table up. Do you ever get tired of cooking and say, hey, let's just order Chinese? <laughs> oh, I love Chinese food. <laughs> Me yeah. too. Yeah, no, no, I, I get that too, but I love cooking them. I know that your faith is so important to you. Is there a way to put faith actually into cooking? Cooking and food is, is a, a transporter, or a, it's a, a great setting for faith. I think you cook with faith. You know, you've got to be grateful for the food that, that, you, that we have. There's a lot of people that don't have. It, then the thoughts come, well, you know, maybe we should share with the people that do not have. And all of that kind of elements of faith and belief and, and just being uh, humanly kind of given is all connected and it's connected with food. And there's no better way to transport faith and love and affection than with food. Tune in tomorrow for part two of our interview with Lydia. She tells us about the nun who helped her discover her faith and if her cooking was a hit with Pope Benedict and Pope Francis.